We're going camping at a volcano, baby. Woo! <laughs> Homestead. We are about 15 minutes outside of Albuquerque or like 30 minutes outside of Albuquerque at this gigantic property and it's absolutely amazing. We are in the middle of the desert as it says. Somehow we have 5G out here which is kind of cool but we just met the owners and they've had this property for about four years and recently bought this whole piece of land and host people for, through Harvest Host and through Hip Camp. And so it's really cool. We are the only people here, which is awesome. And yeah, we're just enjoying the beautiful scenery and we're gonna head over to their house. Apparently they have a bunch of goats, chickens, farm animals, and then a baby a goat that was just born, which is gonna be cute, and some dogs. So we're gonna head over there and say hi to them um, before it gets dark. And then we're gonna watch the stars tonight. It's apparently it's beautiful. Off to a great start here in New Mexico. It is so beautiful. I love it. So yeah, let's go to the house now. Wee! My freaking back hurts, man. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> oh my <laughs> goodness! <laughs> professional breeder. I know it! So apparently, there's two dogs on the property and they are in charge of protecting all the animals from the many coyotes that are in the area. They said one time they didn't let them out because some harvest hosts had pets and they ended up losing like a turkey and a chicken. So now they ask that the harvest host keeps the pets inside and they let them roam free at night to, you know, run off the coyotes. Is this dog approved for you? Yeah, I really like, I like, I don't know if to hear her. She's calmer and sweet. So funny. <laughs> Wait, I know. <gasps> Look at the freaking goat. The There's goat. the baby. No, baby. I'm small. Hi. Oh, they're so friendly. Hello. <laughs> life beforehand she didn't um, and so she was super chunky and fat when she got here and uh -huh. she slimmed right down and I got all worried that we weren't giving her enough food yeah. or something along those lines but she's had unlimited amount of food and she's, she's like, just the right yeah well and not only the property like they run for miles really so they have the best of both worlds hi beautiful oh they uh I don't have treats for you but I'm about to give you sweet grain and then you'll be happy <laughs> Um, but yeah, they run for miles all night and then they come and they sleep in the house. So like, they definitely have the best of their clothes. So, this is their oh. special food. You're not even supposed to get any spoiled girl. Come on. You guys are welcome so, to come in if you want to. Really? Different, yeah, different people have different comfort levels. Oh, I'll come in. But, oh. so her name is Sugar. Sugar. Because her mama is Cinnamon. Oh my god, that's perfect. <laughs> This is cinnamon, and then that's She's like, oh, oh, this means I get to nurse. Oh, this means mommy will stand still long enough I get to nurse. So how long ago was she born? She was born Friday. She was born Friday, and today is, I don't know. Today is Tuesday. Tuesday. Don't even think about it. You're so young. So she's just an idiot. You're just exploring the world. Get over here and nurse. Oh, you're not going to run from me. 
<laughs> we'll run from peaches though, huh? <laughs> Come in, nurse. I'm trying to train her that when this food, when she gets this food, she gets milk. Uh huh. So that when we wean, there you go. So that when we wean and start milking, she tail. associates the two. Tail's wagging. <laughs> Yeah, it's springtime on the farm. Yep. And that means babies. <laughs> Hi, sugar. I'm rolling in, as you can see. Um, so there seems to be a little windstorm blowing, blowing in. It's like making the trailer sway. I don't even know if you can hear me right now. Oh. <laughs> All right, Dylan, hurry. Side. It's so cold. <laughs> yeah, the, the, I can kind of see the star. Oh, I can see them, but just not like an insane amount. Apparently, when the moon is a little less bright, I read in the reviews, you can like straight up see the solar system, which is pretty cool. But uh, or the Milky Way galaxy. Um, but yeah, the, the moon is like the sun right now, basically. My toes! And come in, I'm freezing. <laughs> This morning we woke up, gorgeous sunrise, went on a nice walk, and I worked out a little bit outside, which is really, really nice. Um, and then it started raining, so we ended up just working for a few hours. And now we're packing up. We're headed to Bandera Volcano, and I'm super freaking excited. We're literally camping on a volcano, so it's gonna be sick. Um, it's currently 32 degrees out. Yeah. And snowing. By a volcano. And it's basically May. And we're going up to a volcano where we're camping. This is ridiculous. <laughs> it's really pretty though. It's really cool. Um, I'm here for my harvesters. Okay. Um, I just wanted to make sure I was parking in the right spot. Okay, I would stop here. Stop. Yeah, it starts to get like a little bit of a hill when you go back more. It erupted about 10,000 years ago uh, and it had a lava flow that went for over 23 miles and a lava tube that extended for 17 and a half miles. The ice cave is formed in a collapsed section of that lava tube. Um, basically, 
as it collapsed, it trapped um, kind of like a chamber of cold air underground that fed this, there's a sinkhole, and moisture and stuff gets trapped down there, yeah. turned to ice, grew and grew and grew, and now it's a massive ice thermal mass down there that's frozen year round. Mm -hmm. And yeah, my mom, she grew up out here. My grandfather is the one who turned this thing into a tourist attraction in 1946. That's so cool. Um, so, so all of the rock here. That's all lava rock and then the, the dirt cinders basically and yeah. obviously pine needles and pine cones. And mm -hmm. Various other, mostly ponderosa pine, cedar trees, oak trees, and alligator junipers. Yeah, very cool. These are uh, wood hand carved stirrups from the conquistadors that oh came my through. Goodness. Wow. The 1500s. Shepherds. I love down, down, Rosie. Oh, down. it's okay. Okay. I love our shepherds. Hi. Say hi, Rosie. Say hi. Oh, Be good. We call her Wiggle Butt because she just goes <laughs> nuts wiggling. Oh, she does. I love Australia. Whenever I get a dog, this is the kind I want. So sore. I did weights for the first time in so long yesterday, and I'm dying. I'm, my backs and my legs are so sore. Hopefully this hike will help. I'm like, we're at 8,000 feet right now, and I'm feeling it. So this hike's gonna be interesting. I don't think it's that hard, but the elevations, we're not used to that yet. So this is good. This is really good. This is good, we're getting acclimated. We slept here through Harvest Hosts again, and if you haven't watched my previous videos, Harvest Host is basically a, uh, RV, a free RV camping service where you basically get access to over 2,000 really cool campsites all around the US at farms, places like this, breweries, wineries. So it's like a very cool way of traveling. You boondock most of the time and for free, it's just $100 for the whole year unlimited. So it's a very good deal in my opinion. So we're currently here at this amazing ice cave volcano place, Bandera Volcano. And we were just talking with one of the owners, John. Basically this whole area, so this is obviously kind of looks like a, a road. It used to be one of the old like roads that people would travel on way back in the day. And over here, the green building right there actually used to be a saloon. And then next to it used to be like a dance hall. And people would just come through on their travels and this was a kind of like a natural place for them to stop. So they would stop and like have a drink and hang out, which is really fun. Um, but yeah, now it's just like a museum and it's the family business. They've had it in the family for over a hundred years. Trash queen back at it again. This is probably her favorite part of the RV travel trailer experience. I'm so sore. I'm ready to hike. Yeah! <laughs> Here we go, I'm so excited. In her natural habitat, her yeah. cave. Wow. That's... So, 1,400 feet wide, 800 feet deep, and the lava that spewed out of it went for more than 23 miles. And they say it's dormant, but who knows? You can't even capture it on here. This is epicness. All of this used to be lava. Wow. Here we go. So 
So it doesn't get above freezing in this cave. Uh, the max temperature is 31 degrees, which is crazy, so it's a little chilly. Um, but there is 20 feet of ice, like 20 feet like thick of ice, which is insane. It used to be around like 12 to 14 feet, but as the snow and the rain kind of ran off into the cave, it freezes because I guess the way this works, it's a lava tube and the rock insulates the temperature in here so it does not ever get above freezing and it just stays super cold. So there is this, obviously we can't go all the way down to the ice because people used to come in here and take the ice for themselves um, to put in their ice boxes and everything. But once it became kind of more of a tourist attraction, um, they changed the rules so that no one could go down there because they don't want it to, you know, tarnish the whole thing. But you can kind of see the remnants of, of when, you know, people back in the day used to be down here, this little platform. And yeah, this is where they used to store their beer. And then way before that, the indigenous people here used to store all of their food down here. So it serves many purposes, purposes over the last De like 10,000 years. years. <laughs> it's, it's just crazy how like this was formed by lava. Like it's just the complete opposite. It's super cool. And the, the ice has kind of this like greenish tinge to it. Apparently there's some kind of Arctic algae that is in the, in the ice and makes it kind of green. I think it depends on the light because I've seen some photos where it looks like it's glowing green, but. It's probably when the sun is hitting yeah, it. Yeah, it's when the sun's hitting it, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, whoa. It actually goes like underneath, underneath this right here. Does it? Oh, I see ice. Is that ice? Yeah, it's snow actually. What? Whoa, I should come down here. <gasps> what the heck? Are you serious? Okay, it goes, look at that. It goes like way inside, like that hole. Oh my God, what the heck? Okay, this is number four, a natural ice box. In the early days, there was an ice there was ice present in the bottom of this small cave. The Candelaria family utilized this as the refrigerator before electricity was available. This used to be a fridge. What? That is so cool. I'm so glad we came in here. Who knew a volcano hike would be way cooler than <laughs> most of the other hikes i know there's just so much it's just like it's different. such a different type of landscape i've never seen like it looks it just looks otherworldly but it's also like very beautiful at the same time yeah this is definitely an underrated spot if you're ever in new mexico hit it up it's a really cool family-owned business and yeah lots of hidden treasures Everywhere. along the way i mean like are you serious this looks like we were we were driving along the road and we saw it's actually all black like it's this, all this black. is a little bit grayed out no it's it is black and we when we were driving here on the side of the road all of the lava rock were pushed off to the side and dylan was like thinking in his head dylan told me he's like i for a second i thought that was like old concrete that they had just pushed to the side it's just like mount like mounds of lava rock and this is like they said it's the 22 miles out like this is yeah, this was about 20 miles before we came in. Yeah, yeah, the whole the area when you come in, it's just, it's very unique. <sighs> so, we just took our first shower in like four days. I know that's gross. But our hot water heater has decided to also stop working because of this massive storm that we went through a few days ago. And they literally turned the shower on for us. Like they turned it on today for the first time and it was amazing. Hot water, really good water pressure. Feeling good, ready to drive to Arizona. How'd that shower feel? Uh, reviving, refreshing, everything I could have ever asked for in the shower. <laughs> Especially in the middle of nowhere. I know, it was amazing, it was so hot and amazing. Oh.